Hello together. My name is Dill Raymond and today I will show you uh, exact zooming. Uh, I, I needed a long time to get that code and I will give you this code. This is a uh, coding on Windows Universal Platform app and I have here a image and my, what I do here is zooming when the cursor stays at, at, at the position. This is difficult to do. Uh, in my previous um, apps and tutorials I showed you how to zoom with a manipulate and transform of the UI element and now I show you uh, the zooming when the cursor stays on the position. So what you have here you see this the cursor is there and I zoom it so uh, in a standard zoom when you t uh, scale, uh, change the scale factor then zooming is on the central uh, so when you have the cursor here always the picture moves to the side so in this case uh, it always stays there zooming and uh, throwing it back okay now we go to the uh, XAML side and to the app side what we have here as you have seen in the previous uh, tutorial we have the grid as a, a surrounding element and inside there's a scroll viewer and inside the scroll viewer there's the image the scroll viewer is uh, with disabled uh, horizontal and vertical uh, scroll bar visibili visi uh, visibilities so it uh, the inner element the image uh, when you set the stretch mode there to uniform then it stretches to maximum and vertical stretch alignment stretch horizontal alignment stretch then it stretches to maximum that's what you see when you start now what we do here is uh, I use the point wheel changed uh, event and inside the UI element is the re render transform and the composite transform. All you have to do throw this in there. Now when we go to the uh, and we have to menu uh, to allow manipul manipulation mode translate x translate uh, y y yep and then the scale scale is also important. Now when we we go to the pointer wheel change event that's what's interesting and this difficult code uh, go to the definition <clears throat> we have here uh, complex code please take everything take the block and uh, copy it to your own application we have here uh, in the first line get the real data scrolling to bed front side or back side and tell me the actual position where my mouse my cursor is and then I say okay whenever you do a scroll make a factor of 1.2 or 0 0.8 this means plus 20% or uh, less 20% so 80% or 120% scaling now we say uh, this the scale factor the zooming itself is uh, the internal zoom so th this is image transform this is the this one, the composite transform, the rendered is image transform, uh, target, target rendering. Target rendering is scale factor X uh, multiplied by the delta scroll. So the actual scroll multiplied with uh, plus 20% uh, or minus 20%. This is the new scale factor. And now we have to say when we Crawl into the front side or back side. Uh, we have to um, to respect the uh, the position of where is the actual uh, is it moved to the left side to the right side and also where is my actual position. So this is a little bit coding, coding, coding. You may read this new translate x shift to the left side or right side when scrolling is. Um, going to the front or back side then when uh, zooming when zooming then take 
the actual position minus uh, the actual moving wh whenever it was moved multiplied by 20% of the actual position multiplied by the scale factor of the uh, inner element so that's a bit con con uh, complex and then uh, I have a final com uh, correction when it's on zero 100% then stop there and now finally we set the transform set scale with new scale translate with new, uh, new with the new trans uh, translate translate means shifting li uh, right, right or left <coughs> now what we do there is we have a look on it again so this is my uh, photo explorer now when we zoom when I go to the picture and I zoom when I scroll with my mouse bar to the front or back side or when I manipulate by the, my uh, if it's a touch screen uh, then the, this function will go there and you see that the, uh, the pointer is always on the right position it can scroll front side and back side so I hope I could uh, this code helps you in your own application copy it and paste it and use it uh, I hope I can could help you in this case and if you like it give me a button uh, a, 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 a like and also subscribe it it's good for YouTube